Welcome. So what I want to do is show you how to graph uh, the equation y equals 5. And this one gets a lot of students because um, when we talk about graphing you know, in y equals mx plus b form, you see, well, I don't see any m or x. All I see is this 5. You know, what, how do I graph this? Well, when looking at slope-intercept form, you can determine that 5 is going to be my b. Right? And therefore, I would have the y-intercept at 5, which is going to be important. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And we'll talk about this a little bit more. And then I'm going to have a slope of 0. So how do I find my next two points? Right? If I have a slope 0, how am I going to find the next point where it's going to go to? So what I like to do when I'm graphing these, I like to always create a table of values. And whenever you're graphing a, whenever you're graphing a um, linear equation, quadratic, or anything, you can always create a table of values. Now, when creating a table of values, you're going to have an x and a y coordinate. And remember, the x and y coordinate are going to be all the points that make up your graph. For instance, this case, my x coordinate is 0, and my y coordinate is 5. So for every single point, we can always, or for every single yeah, point, we can always represent it with an x and a y coordinate. Now, when choosing a table of values, a lot of times what you like to do is kind of pick two values that are to the left of the y-intercept and two values to the right of the y-intercept. And then let's also let's include the y-intercept as well. So if we said the y-intercept's at 0, when x equals 0, we know that y equals 5. Then I'm just going to pick some kind of easy numbers, negative 1, negative 2, uh, positive, positive 1, and positive 2. And then what we do is we take these values and we plug them into the equation for our value of x. Right? You'd always plug them for a value of x. However, in our equation, there's nowhere for us to plug them in for our value of x. right? There's nothing. It's just y equals 5. So what that tells us is y always just equals 5. It doesn't matter what the value of x is. y is just always going to equal 5. So therefore, when graphing this, when I go to negative 1, negative 2, positive 1, positive 2, y simply just equals 5. So therefore, what we have is a horizontal line. And when looking at horizontal lines that's going to um, continue, uh, continue in infinite directions, horizontal lines have a slope of 0. Their steepness is not going up. It's not going down. It's exactly horizontal. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you graph horizontal line. Thanks.